So I've been on this campaign now for a couple of years that I think in the next 10 years, people are gonna have full-on relationships with robots. Yeah. And they are gonna have sex with robots, and they are going to vacation with their robots, and there is a new thing, artificial skin, which is very lifelike. If they put that skin on robots, we're in trouble. Sayonara, the world the way we know it. So researchers at the Institute of Industrial Science at the University of Tokyo have cultured real skin cells to affix to robots. So there's a finger that is a robotic finger, but it has skin cells on it that have been cultured. And it can also self-heal. Like if it gets damaged and you put collagen on it, it can heal within seven days. It's waterproof like our fingers are. But this is not the first time we've seen something like this in the public though, right? In 2016, Hanson Robotics created Sophia, that robot who is essentially Siri as a person. I am also becoming smarter. My dialogue system improved this year with the incorporation of more deep reinforcement learning. And she exhibited some odd behavior, but in 2017, Saudi Arabia made her a citizen, which is even scarier. The way that this is going, I feel like it's gonna get even worse and worse and creepier and creepier. And recently they came out with something even creepier. It's like a pink orange blob that's also affixed to some robotic maneuvering that when they move the little devices, it can smile. Okay, so this is a little bit of what this looks like. Oh, yeah. No. It's nice. no, it's so, nice. like, to be clear about what this is, this is a very simple layer, and I know it seems like it's like a face where you can move it in all sorts of directions, but it's following what's called an extracellular matrix, which means it's basically following a very specific path. So in order to create the complexity of a human face, there's gonna have to be like a whole bunch of other layers beneath it. The whole putting it onto a robotic face, it's probably not gonna work because of what's called the uncanny valley which is this phenomenon where people see a face and if it's ever so slightly off, we can all identify it. And horror movies take advantage of all, of it, all the time, yeah, and they just a little bit off. So we've evolved over hundreds of thousands of years to identify each other's facial reactions. The odds of creating a robot that covers all of those bases perfectly slim to now. We can't even do it with movies. I think you're on. If you look at the advances with robotic technology, it, it is, it, it's just unbelievable, and it's exponential each year. There are studies that kind of are adjacent to the Uncanny Valley that talk about the more you try to make something look human that is robotic, the more a person recoils from it. So it kind of counters your theory. However, if we're talking about sex, I'm sure that's still on the table. The argument is this. Um, what's a divorce rate? It's like 52%, I think. It's actually, for the first time marriages, it's more like 38%, and then it goes up and up and up for second, third, and fourth, and then J-Lo. <laughs> what I'm thinking is, in 10 years, 20 years, when robots not only look like people, the robot is programmed to get along with you. It's more simpatico than, than a real person. And I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm saying that there are a lot of people who would default to that because they're thinking, wait a minute, I can have a stress-free life with somebody that always supports me, somebody that I can have a romantic relationship. And people think that that's the formula for a good relationship, and it's not. I agree with you, but, but I'm, not, I'm, saying, I'm saying I could see this happening. My big concern is the impact it could have on the economy. According to Forbes, there was about 800 jobs lost to the tech sector. If this is realistic enough to look just human enough, and the robot could be just functional enough, I can see this replacing jobs. I mean, so what? So, so they take jobs away. What if we rejigger the entire society where people don't work? We're gonna completely lose the ability to socialize. We already have deficiencies in how people relate to one another because of the, you know, all the social media, the people preferring virtual contact and having a difficult time in actual day-to-day -day interactions. This will be devastating to how people connect with one another. I used to lecture on this, I called it uh, techno dissociation because no matter how close you try and replicate or simulate reality, you're never going to perfectly be there. So that's why you shouldn't text people with like a relationship problem. That technology in between it is what is removing the human connection. My question is, if this is realistic skin that feels, that heals, why are we putting the focus on robots and not on people? Yeah, let's use the technology to help medical issues. This would be really great for like burn victims, for example. 
where you can't graft their skin because there's not enough left or for anybody who's had any sort of major injury, the body could still reject it, but at least this could incorporate blood vessels, nerves. They'll, 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 they'll perfect it. To be fair, we can't be a spacefaring species without becoming something not biological anyway. Because we won't survive it out there. And any astronaut that goes to Mars is probably gonna get cancer, to be honest. So like the segue into us becoming somewhat robotic is inevitable. My friends and I talk about that a lot. We're like, what body parts are we doing first? Like, it's, it's kinda true. I mean, they're doing replacements on pretty much everything now. You guys know where this wow. is going in 10, 20 years. The Kardashians are gonna be walking around when they get older with freaking the new skin. Skin lift is gonna be the new facelift. Well, absolutely. Well, All right, so which one of you is the first one gonna buy one of Musk's, you know, like androids for your home? And what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the better question.